Hi, I'm uh, Farooq Khan. Um, I am with the Pakistan delegation. I have been acting as lead negotiator for on climate change. I have been uh, former chair of the Adaptation Fund Board, I should say. Um, and currently, I'm also member of the Transitional Committee on Green Climate Fund. Its key achievement is its novelty in uh, um, creating a modality of direct access. But this modality, I should say, is uh, something that has never tried before something that uh, remains to be tested i should say we have, we have just uh, approved those projects the money has started flowing to those countries where the uh, direct access projects are taking place so i think this is by and far one of its biggest achievement the other big achievements um, i think is its focus on on countries which nom normally uh, did not had access to those small projects, financing for those small projects from the climate finance universe. So we are focusing on, let's say, in Pakistan, we are focusing on the glacial lake outburst in, in uh, soil erosion in Senegal uh, through direct access. And I think the, these are important achievements of the Adaptation Fund. What is direct access? For me, personally, as well as any developing country representative, direct access is a manifestation of converting re into reality the notion of capacity building. That how, how good we can make sure that the countries are capable of not only conceiving projects. Thus far, our, what has been happening around us is that we will take a project, we will give it to a multilateral entity and then multilateral entity would execute. Now, there is nothing wrong with this process. Uh, the objective is to achieve certain results. But at the same time, we have to enable the countries to take their own action. And I think direct access is that modality. The first challenge, I think, is, is to measure the effectiveness of the work that we are doing the indicators the set of indicators that we need to develop on what we have done thus far the second challenge i see is in monitoring I mean, direct access is a new modality but that if direct access go wrong, goes wrong in adaptation fund board or if through adaptation uh, fund projects i think it will be a bad signal to the international community and the challenge of depoliticizing adaptation thus far the debate the negotiations and the guidance that we have been receiving uh, has been politicized that uh, the most vulnerable are certain specific countries or others i think climate change challenge or adaptation challenge is across the globe it is it involves practically majority of the countries across the globe so it, it is important that we now develop a set of indicators um, to measure it from the economic standpoint what exactly are we going to uh, finance uh, as adaptation projects i see a definitive role for adaptation fund board to be a major part of the evolving green climate change regime. Adaptation Fund has um, something to add and that is to consolidate and to provide guidance on what is direct access. Direct access is also part of our work in Green Climate Fund. The other lesson that uh, Adaptation Fund Board would um, uh, of course convey and it will convey is on its governance structure, how it has developed uh, the access to developing countries, how it has uh, forged the fiduciary standards which are very important. And I think the final thing that Adaptation Fund Board could uh, inform to the Transitional Committee or the Green Climate Fund is the areas that it is focusing on. Adaptation Fund must be part of a bigger picture that we are now constructing. We have created building blocks. All these small building blocks, all these components must now be consolidated in the bigger picture. 
uh, an adaptation fund board is a part of that picture.